We've got some exciting highlights to show you folks, and we're going to take a look at uh, some of the key players from last night's game. 21 first half points. Your fellows were fired up coming into this one, weren't they, Gino? Well, they really were because, uh, you know, last year we lost to uh, an NAIA team at homecoming, Wofford, and uh, this team we knew was a lot better than, uh, than Wofford, so we were really fired up. Of course, that was a touchdown uh, from Darren to Bernard Ford, and this is a touchdown uh, uh, Robert Ector ran uh, from the two-yard line, <clears throat> and this is uh, slack, I believe, to Arnell Spencer for our third touchdown. You guys ran so the ball. So we got 21 zip. You ran the ball only once in the first quarter last night. That's right, and again, we uh, our offensive coaches came up with a very good plan, and uh, we were able to pick on them a little bit. Well, they expected you to throw the ball. Throw the ball you did. 257 yards by halftime, and Darren Slack was really tossing the skin around, wasn't he? Well, Darren, as we have said all along, is a much better quarterback this year than he has been in the past, and uh, I've got a feeling that Darren's going to get better each week. We got some pictures of uh, the second half. Uh, finally did get on the board. Take a look here. This was a great goal line stand you guys had. Well, this ended what was, uh, it looked like a, it was going to be a scoring drive <clears throat> for Elon, but we managed to hold him down, and that was really a, a third down interception that we had. <clears throat> Young man by the name of Gil Barnes here running for it. Well, Gilbert Barnes is going to have a bright future with us. He's got two years after this year, <clears throat> and right now he's playing right behind Robert Ector. So uh, we've got some good tailbacks, and Gilbert's going to have a lot of great games for us. Before we uh, go any further, let's talk about Eddie O'Brien because he wasn't playing last night, your kicker. <clears throat> Eddie has had uh, some health problems, plus he hurt his knee a little bit, and as we know, Eddie has had a hurt knee for over a year now. Uh, we got his brace fixed for his knee, and uh, the doctors felt like, our trainer John Mooney felt like that uh, Eddie should sit out this week, so we did let him sit out, and it hurt us a little bit too, because our inexperienced kicker cost us four points in the game, uh, at a point where we miss an extra point and a, and a chip shot field goal could have put us up 21 points instead of being up 17 points and uh, that's a fairly significant uh, uh, missed extra point in field goal so we missed Eddie last night. All right another solid performance from your quarterback Darren Slack last night he passed for better than 300 yards look at that 22 of 39 332 yards and three touchdowns. Yeah as we were saying Darren has got a very good arm <clears throat> we started out with a no huddle shotgun formation with no backs in the backfield and uh, we knew about what we were going to get on defense and uh, as we progressed with this formation and no huddle we were really kind of drawing plays in the ground over there based on where they were lined up though so we were Rick Stockstill and Mike Kruzik did a great job of uh, selecting the plays as we went along here uh, once we could see on the field how Elon was lining up against the formation. These are mainly the, throw, the throws and catches with Bernard Ford now. Bernard had 13 catches in the ball game, uh, which is uh, a school record for total number of receptions. And uh, he missed the yardage uh, total by four yards. Of course, we're going to see some shots of Arnell Spencer. Arnell Spencer set the total yardage uh, uh, record for a receiver with 153 yards. It was uh, 148, I believe, by uh, Teddy Wilson before that. We all know how good Bernard Ford is. Has Arnell been kind of a pleasant surprise for you so far this year? <clears throat> well, before the season started, Pat, I thought that Arnell had the, the purest hands on the team. Uh, but Ar uh, Bernard Ford has made vast improvement in his catching over the last three or four weeks. He's really beginning to catch the ball uh, like a pro receiver. Uh, he's already got the world-class speed, and now that he's catching the ball so well, uh, these NFL scouts are beside themselves. They're just licking their chops waiting <laughs> for him to get ready for the draft. Taking a look at Bernard on a return there, we can tell you that uh, Bernard had 13 catches last night for 100 and 48 yards and one touchdown. And of course, as Gene said, the 13 catches is his new single game UCF record. Not only that, he had some good rushes. That's and right. He, had a, he threw, a, threw a pass uh, to Robert Ector. So he's a very versatile person. We didn't use him as a punter last night, mm -hmm. but you know, he helped us on the kickoff return. His average on the kickoff returns has got to be up over 30 yards right now. He's got to be ranked nationally uh, with his kickoff returns. Okay, let's pick up on Arnell Spencer. Uh, Arnell had a great night. Uh, 152 yards, that is a new single game UCF record, and local boy makes good, right? Well, I tell you, went to school at Edgewater High School, so uh, we're really happy about that. As you know, our philosophy is to, to recruit locally first, and uh, we start the ball game uh, with a big play to him, which he just caught, and then we, 
We hit him uh, several key times. You're going to see a touchdown pass uh, in a few minutes that's just a fantastic throw and catch. But he's a real tough, hard-nosed, big football player with speed. Boy, that one came he's right dangerous. into your living room, didn't it? That was a post corner, and uh, of course, our coaches saw that that was available, so we decided we'd go ahead and get the easy touchdown there. Let me just ask you, do you think that in, before the season's over again, we might see this, this quick offense without the huddle, or are our teams oh, going to be expecting something like that now? Pat, I'm sure that, uh, that we'll use the no huddle more during the season uh, when we're not in the two-minute drill. Uh, people are vulnerable to that. It's awfully unsettling to the defense when the offense does not use a huddle. It also cuts down on the, the uh, flexibility that the defense has in making their calls. A lot of times, unless your uh, defense that you're playing against is really experienced with uh, highly qualified coaches, not that Elon didn't have highly qualified coaches, but, but you really have to have a lot of years of experience to, to know how to get your players ready to deal with